Hello YouTube. All right, I want to check in today. It is December 28th. I actually lost 5.7 pounds overnight. Uh, well, from yesterday till today. I know a lot of it has to be water weight. There's no way that I really lost 5.7 pounds. But even with it being water weight, uh, it's still really motivating to jump on that scale the next morning after you do a hard workouts and fast and, and see that you've lost nearly six pounds in one day. It's just, bam, it gets you going. It's motivation. So I'm almost 48 hours into my fast right now. My body's just living off of the stores of all the, the stuff that I've been eating for the past you know, week or so here. And I'm going to exercise soon. So I'm going to eat before I exercise. I'm going to break my fast. I'm going to have some eggs, uh, get some protein in my body, get a little bit of nourishment so that I don't start feeling woozy or dizzy or anything while I'm exercising. But besides the eggs, I'm just going to I keep drinking the black coffee and drinking the water. So I, I am having my progress. I've already, heck, I, I wanted to lose 10 pounds in 10 days and I lost almost six pounds in the first day. Now again, chances are that was water weight and it's not gonna be another dramatic flush again tomorrow, but it's, it's something, right? So I wanted to talk a minute about motivation and, and what it takes to actually succeed with losing weight and with dieting and sticking to a program. You know, so many people, they, they want to lose weight, but they're just, they don't put in the work of it. And I used to really follow this motivational speaker and one of his things was, he said, most people are seriously not serious. And that's always kind of resonated with me and stuck with me that, yeah, he's right. People say a lot of things, but most people are really not serious about what they want to, about getting busy and, and doing what it takes to do the work. And I remember when I was in uh, high school football, we had a mural in our locker room and it was a, a four like this. And it was for the, the fourth quarter. The, the game was won in the fourth quarter and the fourth quarter was what really mattered. And written on the hand was commitment, effort, enthusiasm, discipline, and tucked under was your pride. So commitment, hey, it takes commitment. Um, you know, I like to say nothing tastes as good as thin feels. I heard that from a motivational speaker once, but commitment, you got to stick with this stuff. One workout, one meal, uh, one day of dieting, it's, it's not going to do the trick. It's got to be repeated day after day after day, and it's got to be exercising day after day and you build on it and you get to where eating right and exercising is a part of your daily life. And if you miss it, you actually feel like something's missing. So we had commitment, effort. Effort is just it's like commitment. You gotta put in the effort. If you're going for a walk and just lollygagging around or going for a run, but you only run a block, it's not gonna do anything. If you gotta, if you wanna actually exercise, you gotta sweat, you gotta get your heart rate up. That's what it takes. I mean, ultimately at the end of the day, weight loss boils down to burning more calories than you take in. So effort. Commitment, effort, enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, get excited about it. Hey, you're losing weight. Guess what? You get to buy some new clothes. You know, people are going to look at you differently. Yeah, <laughs> you got to be excited. When you look in the mirror and think, whoa, I'm losing my flab and I'm getting some abs. Be enthusiastic about it. Get a buddy, get a partner, get somebody to hold you accountable. Join a weight loss club. I'm in a weight loss group on Facebook and it helps me be accountable. I weigh in every Monday morning. We all put up money on it, and uh, it, whoever w loses the highest percentage gets paid money at the end of the time. I've actually won it twice. So if you're ever interested in joining a weight loss club on Facebook, let me know. I'll give you the information, and uh, you know, it's, it helps keep you accountable. So commitment, effort, enthusiasm, discipline. Discipline's big. You know, it's, it's what about what I'm putting in my mouth versus the effort I'm putting out to burn what I'm putting in my mouth. If you want to eat like crap, then you better work out like a banshee. I had a friend, this is one of my favorite quotes. He says, if the furnace is hot enough, it'll burn anything. And this guy is a serious uh, triathlete. He would do uh, Ironman distance triathlons. And that's what he would tell his kids. The kids would see like him eating poorly or eating huge quantities of food. But he's also burning thousands of calories a day exercising. And that was, he would say... If the furnace is hot enough, it'll burn anything. So, you know, that's commitment, effort, enthusiasm, discipline. You got to have the discipline. If you're going to go and eat 
you know, cookies and candy and milkshakes and stuff like that, then you better be burning it. Otherwise, it ain't gonna happen. Um, and then pride underneath, you know, take a little pride in yourself. You wanna look good, you wanna feel good, you wanna keep up with your kids, you wanna be able to go for a long bike ride, go with your friends or something, have a little pride. It all kind of works together. All right, I'm gonna go make myself some eggs and then I'm gonna do a good workout. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's time to break my fast. It's been uh, about 46 hours, I think, since I started my fast. So I'm gonna make myself some eggs right now. I'm gonna have uh, six eggs fried in bacon grease. Give me some calories. Uh, it's only like 70 calories in an egg, so that's only like 420 calories. It's not a heck of a lot of calories, but it's gonna give me some nutrition and some protein. And the frying it in bacon grease makes it taste delicious. And you're getting some fat there too, which uh, you always want some fat when you're doing the keto. dinner, got my eggs, got some protein, time to get on the bike, I'm gonna go for a ride. Try to do eh, probably 90 minutes I guess, something like that, maybe around 20 miles, um, see what my calorie count's looking like. The goal usually when I exercise is about 1,000 calories. I try not to do the same exercises more than one day in a row besides walking. I don't want any uh, repeated stress injuries like doing elliptical too many days in a row. I can really tweak my back or your knees, same thing with the bike. So I try to mix it up. Even if I'm gonna ride my bike multiple days in a row outside, it would be a uh, road bike one day, mountain bike another day, not, not back to back. Same thing as running, elliptical, stuff like that. Try not to do back to back days. So I'm gonna knock out this workout and uh, I'll report back in with my calorie count when I'm all done. Okay, 1,000 calories, 23 miles. Took me about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Good workout, time for a shower. All right, got my shower done. Now I'm just doing a little post-workout exercise with the, uh, okay. the foam roller, try to work out the leg muscle, be ready to exercise again tomorrow. Wrapping the day up, taking the dog out for a walk, get some more steps in, burn some more calories, and start over tomorrow, do it again. Okay, final check-in for the night. I rode my bike 23 miles today. I've walked 69, 39 steps. So it's a low step count compared to a day on the elliptical and going for walks or runs. But when you do 23 miles on the bike, the bike doesn't count as steps. And I burned 3,209 calories. Nope, another good day. All I've had today is six eggs. That's around 400 calories, 420, around that and water and black coffee so doing good eager to see what the scale shows in the morning and do it all again tomorrow thanks for watching